Hello friends, hope you're all doing good. So today friends, we are going to talk about the real life applications of quadratic equations and you will see that friends, quadratic equations is used in so many aspects of our life. So let's start with the real life applications. So friends, firstly, quadratic equations are used a lot in calculating areas. So by areas, we mean area of a room, a box, a furniture, maybe a piece of land, a garden, etc. So I've just given here an example. So suppose I want to make a study table, friends, where the length has to be, say, 1.5 meters more than the breadth. Okay, and suppose I have 3 meters square of wood with me. So what will be the dimensions of the table if I want to make it with the available area of wood? So friends, in this case, we'll use the area of the table formula, the area of a rectangle. So you will see that I have used that formula over here and we have simplified and got a quadratic equation. On solving this quadratic equation, you will come to know what will be the value of the breadth so that with 3 meters square of wood, you can create this table such that the length is also 1.5 meters more than the breadth. So in those situations, friends, where a variable is multiplied with itself and we get the square of the variable, quadratic equations always come into play. So quadratic equations are very useful in calculating areas. Now let's go to the next application of quadratic equations and that is in physics friends that is when we talk about parallel resistors so as you can see here here is a very simple circuit of two resistors which are in parallel and suppose i want the total resistance to be two ohms right so here is our formula for resistors in parallel we know the total resistance as two ohms and one resistance is always suppose 3 ohms or 2 ohms more than the other resistor. So I just need to substitute these values friends and you will observe that we end up getting a quadratic equation in R1. So once again wherever a variable is multiplied with itself you will always end up getting a quadratic equation which when solved you will come to know what value of resistance has to be applied in this circuit to get this desired total resistance of 2 ohms. So quadratic equations is very useful in these situations where we have resistors in parallel. Now let's go to the next application. So friends, the next application of quadratic equations is, yes, athletics. So athletics can't be far behind and quadratic equations is used a lot in athletics. Now I'll tell you how. So in games like cricket, shot put, javelin throw, we have objects being thrown in air. So you have a ball which is being thrown in the air or a javelin which is being thrown in the air. So all these objects when moving in the air, friends, they they always follow this particular type of motion. If you see, this is called a projectile motion and this shape of the curve that is formed is called a parabola, friends. What is it called? A parabola and we say that this is a parabolic path and always a parabola is represented by a quadratic equation y square equal to 4ax so whenever we have analysis of such games where you know a bowler is throwing a ball or a, an athlete is throwing the javelin they always follow this particular parabolic path which can be represented mathematically by quadratic equations. So quadratic equations are used a lot if you want to estimate at what speed should a ball you know leave the bat so that you get a boundary or what should be the speed with which an athlete should throw a javelin so that it reaches a particular maximum height or it reaches the farthest distance. So for all all this analysis quadratic equations always come into play and they are very useful so quadratic equations is used a lot in athletics now coming to the next 
real life application of quadratic equations we have profit and loss calculation friends so again the same concept whenever an unknown is multiplied by itself you will get a quadratic equation so here is an example so suppose a man has purchased onions say for x amount of rupees and he has sold them for 20 rupees now he has incurred a loss and uh, he roughly estimates that his loss percent is say x percent now what will be the cost price of the onions so this can be solved very easily with quadratic equations so as you know the formula for loss percent or you know in case he gets a profit you can substitute the profit percent formula also so loss percent is loss upon cost price into 100 so you just need to substitute the values which are there and you will again end up getting a quadratic equation friends so with this when solved will help us get the loss percent value so quadratic equations is used a lot while calculating profit and loss so in accounts and business profession also quadratic equations is used now coming to the next application of quadratic equations well it is used to find speed of objects so for example here is an example to help you understand better so suppose you have a stream and a motorboat is traveling say at a speed of 20 km per hour in still water so friends suppose the direction of the water in the stream is say this way then downstream means when the boat travels in the same direction as that of the water and upstream is when the boat travels against the direction of water that is it is an opposite direction so obviously when the boat is traveling upstream it will take more time so suppose it is taking one hour more to go you know to a distance of 24 kilometers than when it is traveling downstream to cover the same distance and you know we have to find the speed of the water in the stream this is very much possible with the help of quadratic equations so you use the distance speed um, time formula so the difference in the time is one hour and you have distance in the numerator and the speed in the denominator so when you do this particular simplification again you will get a quadratic equation which when solved will give us the speed of the water in the stream so you will see friends that quadratic e equation is so important in finding such values so friends quadratic equations are used in the design of satellite dishes because satellite dish is in the shape of parabolas which are mathematically expressed as quadratic equations so the knowledge of quadratic equations is very important while designing these satellite dishes Friends, here is a reflecting telescope and in a reflecting telescope, the primary mirror is the parabolic mirror and to design this parabolic mirror, you need knowledge of quadratic equations because it is in the shape of parabola which is mathematically represented using quadratic equations. So friends, all curved mirrors like a convex mirror, a concave mirror, all such mirrors are in the shape of parabolas. That's why knowledge of quadratic equations is very important while designing these mirrors. So friends, I hope that the information in this video gave you a better idea of the importance of quadratic equations in our lives. If you like the content in this video, do consider subscribing to our channel. Do like and share this video. Take care. Bye.